Hello, this is Roy Beiswinger here at the Midwest LSA Expo, and we're here talking to Rob Rollison about the Aerotrek. Uh, the Aerotrek airplanes made in the Czech Republic by the Aeropro company. The A240 is the tricycle gear airplane, the A220 is the tail dragger, and we just recently began offering the A240 not only with the standard tires and wheel pans, uh, but also with bigger Tundra tires. We go from the 15 inch standard tires to 18 inch uh, Tundra tires, 21 inch Tundra tires, or 22 inch, these big smooth tires, and go up to like an 18 inch on the nose if you're going to be flying off of, you know, soft, you know, wet, or rough fields. It's right. an advantage. We fly off of a grass runway, and our standard tires do a real good job, but if, if, if it's been raining hard, you can go through some soft places, you can see where you can leave a little bit of a rut, but we go even up just to the 18 inch tires and you can't even see where you've been. Oh, so yeah, if you're going to be okay. flying from soft fields or, or maybe more bumpy fields, it can be an advantage. And the good thing about it is on our A240, you can switch from the standard tires and wheels over to the biggie tires and back and forth. Oh, okay. So that's a, a popular feature now. Most people order the A240 in with the standard tires and wheel pants for the mm -hmm. sleekest combination, the best speed. And, and fuel right. efficiency, but then also order in with a wide front fork kit and get bigger tires so you can switch back and forth quick and easy. You know, it makes sense because a lot of people in northern climates, particularly if it's been snowing all, yeah. all winter, okay, yeah. and you get to the thaw, you may not be able to convince the airport manager that you can get on the grass. Yeah, there's that. Well, then also you mentioned snow. I and mean, our, our A220, the tail dragger, is available with, with you know wheel penetration snow skis. They use them up a lot in Canada and Alaska. But with the A240, I've flown off of light snow with our standard tires. Right. But with the biggie tires, if you got a couple of three inches of snow, it would be a lot easier to take off and land Seems on like the snow. Right. Um, though there wouldn't be a whole lot of that in southern Indiana where we're from. So um, this airplane, which is its market? I mean, I, I, what you're talking about when you start getting into options like tires tells yeah. me it's a, you know, you're, you're consumer based. But yeah. there's got to be a training market. There's got to be... Well, you'd think there'd be more of a training market, but there's not as many SLSA planes out with the flight schools that we'd like to see yet. But it'll happen right. more and more over time. But sure. uh, but no, it's mostly uh, mostly existing pilots that want to, uh, first of all, not have to bother with an FAA medical. Right. You know, that was the big claim to fame mm -hmm. of the LSA business. Right. But also who want a, um, a fun recreational plane that'll burn maybe four gallons an hour of car gas, a new plane with new features, new type avionics, and at relatively low cost and very, very low operating costs instead of, uh, with all due respect, a four or 50 year old Cessna or Piper. Right. That's right. most of our market. Sure. So uh, when somebody sits in, what, what kind of panels are they looking at? Well, our, our panel comes, our, our, our aircraft comes instrument panel pretty well loaded up with a real good German manufactured radio, Modest transponder, um, uh, all the normal equipment, a good American made electronic engine monitor. Uh, the options really are just an EFAS, an electronic okay. attitude indicator, and those cost about $1,000. You know, right. they're, they're, they're great. And most people are using an iPad for their navigation. Okay. And our panel right. is specially set up to where we can accommodate, uh, you know, the, the full size, the 9.7 or even the 10.5 inch iPad on the panel. And with the various um, uh, apps like ForeFlight or WingX Pro or iFly or FlyQ or some of the others, it just does a great job and at almost no cost at all. Wow. Now, I and, and with ADSB now, so you have in-flight traffic and weather at low cost. It's a the ADSB right. in and out is a fifteen hundred dollar option on our planes. That's not bad. That's not yeah. the thousands and thousands that they were no, talking about no. before. That's really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been watching you on bydanjohnson.com. On you know on the annual, uh, how many who's selling what kind yeah. of that, kind of yeah. that little tracker thing. Yeah. And you're a climbing son of a gun. Well, we, we, we get about a third of Aeropro's production. You know, they're made in the Czech Republic right. and the capacity of the factory is about, about 40 planes a year and we get about one third of their production. Uh, we could you'd normally sell a good bit number more, but they still want to maintain their good European market and a good market in the UK. Also right. some sales every year in Australia. So we get about from 12 to 15 planes a year, 12 okay. to 16 planes a year. Uh -huh. So so it's just it, been good, steady. It, yeah, good, good and steady. We wish we could get some more, but uh, we're happy to have worked with a good company like Aeropro. A uh, couple unique features you have here. One of them is you're able to stuff this in a trailer. Yeah. I've seen it stuffed in a trailer. Yeah. Well, I brought this plane over from Southern Indiana to the Midwest LSA Expo here, you know, in, in my airplane hall and trailer, because that's one of the best features of our Aeropro planes. It has quick folding wings. Okay. The wings fold, and it goes down to 7 foot 10 inches wide and goes right into a nice enclosed trailer. And we haul them to Florida or to California or to Oshkosh or any place you want to go. And it's not only for transportation, 
But when you have a plane that can fit into a nice enclosed trailer, that becomes a portable hangar. Right. So a lot of people use them for that purpose. And also the folding wings allow you to share hangar space. Because there's a lot of places in the country, you know, the more congested areas right. where they don't have hangars available, but where they, uh, independent hangars available, but right. where they might have a, a large community hangar where you fold your wings and you can slip in between a couple of helicopters or between some other planes and right. find some hangarage where otherwise it just wouldn't be available at any price. How many people does it take to fold a wing? Oh, just one person. Really? Oh, yeah. No, it, it's about a six to eight minute job to fold the wings. It takes a little That's longer quick. than that to line it up and, you know, load it into a trailer and, you know, secure it down for a thousand right. mile trip. But no, it, folding the wings is quick and easy. That is quick. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't have expected that. Yeah. An issue in the magazine of on amphibs and floats. Yeah. It seemed like this was a summer where just everybody was, it, everybody, it, it seems to be an exciting area for a lot of people. Yeah, we've, we've had more and more, you know, interest in amphibs and with floats and basically in the old days, in the 90s when I first started in the business, 90% of the market seemed to be for straight floats and 10% for amphibs back then of the inquiries, but right. now it's a good 90% want amphib. And right. our planes, we've just started putting our planes, you know, in the U.S. and Canada on, on amphib floats. Okay. You know, we've got a, a, a plane in Texas that's on the full Lotus straight floats. Mm -hmm. We've got a plane, a, a new plane up in uh, Montreal, Canada, that's on aluminum uh, amphib floats from the Czech Republic. We've got another plane going on to uh, a composite amphib floats manufactured by Claymar Company up in ca Canada. Mm -hmm. They're going to be installed by a good float installation company in Wisconsin here another month or so. Okay. And kind of going on from there. So, yeah, our planes can be put on floats. They need to be ordered in with special float brackets installed. It's okay. like a $275 option. That's not bad. Uh, now, one of our customers, the fellow putting it on the composite Claymar floats, he plans to use his plane on amphib floats in Florida during the winter time when they're down there at their house there. Mm -hmm. And then in the uh, spring and summer, where they don't like to travel around the country, he'll put the plane back on wheels okay. and load it in your big trailer and pull it behind your motor home or your pickup truck or whatever and go all over the country. That's really nice because one of the things I've noticed, not a lot of LSA owners are necessarily country travelers. Yeah. If you have it in a trailer, that makes sense. You could actually yeah. tow it, your family could be up front, and plane could be in the back. With our planes, you can take it with you. Talk about a little bit more about the standard features of the plane. Yeah. Uh, let's start with the, the power. Yeah. What, well, what's they're using like most airplanes out here, using the Rotex 912 ULS engine, okay. 100 horse, you right. know, been around since 19. Um, uh, 99, I believe it was, right. and uh, the follow-up to the 80 horsepower engine, which came out in 1989. Mm -hmm. So the most popular aircraft engine in the world at this time. I think does so. Does a real good job for us, and very good performance, you know, in in our sort of plane. Of course, right. our planes, you know, high wing plane with the folding wings, a tricycle gear or tail dragger. It's um, a two seat side by side. Right. Uh, uh, regular control sticks, rudder. Uh, our tricycle gear plane is um, uh, nose wheel steering. Mm -hmm. It's not a catering, It's nose wheel steering. Right. Well, uh, transition time. For people getting into well, it, for, most, say from a GA. Yeah, well, most of the people buying our planes are, are old GA pilots or airline pilots, normally that also have a good bit of GA time. And just a few hours, and they just get used to the lighter control forces, you know, in any kind of an LSA right. plane. And so just in a few hours, they're doing just fine. Good, good. And, and, and loving it, no doubt. Well, yeah. So uh, fuel tank is... Yeah, our, our plane, it has uh, okay. a welded aluminum. It's always had oh, okay. welded, welded aluminum, you right. know, wing tanks. Each right. hold about 10 and a half gallons. Mm -hmm. And being, uh, being aluminum, there's no worries about ethanol in the fuel. Okay. Because that can True. be an issue That's on right. other kinds of fuel tanks. Right. And uh, total fuel capacity is about 22 gallons. We'll burn about 4 gallons an hour in normal operation. 4.2 to 4.3 gallons per hour in a brisk cruise of about 120 miles an hour. Okay. You want to uh, have half tanks or less when you okay. fold the wings for, you know, for, for transport. Yeah. Uh, somebody wants to learn more about this airplane. Where do they go? Yeah, I'm on, all, on our website, www.aerotrek.aero. Aerotrek.aero. Okay. A -E -R -O. And if they want to see you, the yeah. famous, okay, they, they you we're, said Southern Indiana. We're located in Southwestern Indiana, okay. about 90 minutes Southwest of Indianapolis. But we also have a lot of uh, uh, over a hundred happy aircraft owners scattered around the U.S. So if somebody's interested in our plane and up in Canada too, they, they can call or email, and very often we can find uh, somebody they can visit to check out one of our planes closer to home. Oh, that's even better. And there's yeah. a few flight schools that have our planes, a real good one in Wilmington, Ohio, down in Titusville, Florida, Tucson, Arizona area, and another instructor in Southern California. There's there's some out oh, there. Oh, you got, you, got, you got some reach. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. Well, Rob, thanks so much. Okay, sure enough. All right. This is Rob Robinson here with uh, Roy Beiswinger at the Midwest LSA Expo. I'm with Powered Sport Flying Magazine. If you want to learn more about what I do, you can visit me at www.psfmagazine.com.